As a follow-up to the Yuko Spork video, today we have the Yuko Switch. And this is a two-piece system that combines all three utensils, the spoon, the knife, uh, the little fork. And it provides a couple of advantages over the, the actual spork. One being is that it's probably a little easier to carry. Uh, the second being you have more of an actual knife and uh, it actually functions pretty well. Uh, I've used it to cut beef and uh, bread and all kinds of things and it's, it's functioned pretty well. I don't know how it will uh, stand up to the test of time and if that edge will become dulled from use, which I assume it will, but uh, it's done pretty good so far. The way that this comes apart is when I first got it, I was sitting there trying to pull it apart like that, and that's really not the way it's designed. If you just kind of put your finger in between the fork and the spoon and put a little pressure there, it just pops out. And then same thing, you put them back together and then you just clip them back together. The fork functions as well as the one from the, the spork. This one, however, does not have the micro serration there um, as the spork does because that feature has been moved to an actual knife. They made some pretty good decisions here as far as which utensil to put the cutting edge on also. Because let's face it, if they had put the cutting edge on the end of the fork, I mean, that's not going to work. Because, you know, how often do you use the knife and the spoon at the same time? It's generally the knife and the fork. So, you know, they put a little thought into it. The other unique feature of the switch is the two utensils fit together and make a very large spoon so you can get down into packaging because uh, you know some of these freeze-dried meals the daggum packaging seems like it's that deep you gotta stick your hand all the way down in there with a regular spoon aside from that you know you've got the standard uh, hole there that the Yuko spork has and that way you can attach a little lanyard to it, put it on the outside of your pack or carry it, you know, secure it uh, to your equipment so it doesn't, you know, get lost. Uh, the weight is just slightly heavier, but these things are so light that to even mention anything about the weight's kind of, kind of irrelevant. It's made from the same materials as the Spork. It's a BPA-free a glass filled nylon. I still haven't investigated the lifetime warranty that the other sport comes with. <laughs> uh, but I'm assuming this has the same lifetime warranty. What it covers, I don't know. Still haven't looked at it. Probably should. Uh, but I, you can find these, or at least I can find these at my local big box retailer for $5. So, I mean, for $5, really, who's going to go through the hassle of calling Yuko and sending it back, saying that something's wrong with it? Now, uh, if you watch my first video about the sport, the same thing applies here. Before you actually use it, you want to make sure that you run your fingernail around it and get off any excess plastic that's left over from the molding process. And like I said, all you got to do is take your thumbnail, kind of rub it on the outside edge like that, and that'll take care of that. I have, it, I have several of the Yuko products, and excess material from the molding process hasn't been a huge issue. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Just make sure that there's no sharp edge on that before you actually use it. As far as the way it feels in your hand, the spoon portion of the set it's pretty comfortable. This edge uh, that goes along the knife edge is a little thin and it's not as comfortable as the other side. So I think the spoon side on the spork actually wins out as far as comfort of use. 
on the fork. It fits well in the hand and it functions as well as the, the fork section of the sport. All in all, as far as which would I use, I guess it depends on what the circumstances are. If I had some beef or something like that, then I would use the switch because hands down, the cutting edge is, is far superior. If I was eating something like this, then probably stick with the spork. Because, I mean, you know, this particular bag isn't that deep. Now, in some of the other packaging that manufacturers use for some of the other products, you know, some of the other meals, then you have to use the other unique feature of the switch. So, you know, depending on what the packaging is like, I would switch back and forth between the two. Well, I'd say it's pretty much a draw between the switch and the spoon. It's just uh, situational as far as which one I would prefer to use and under what circumstances. So, uh, you know, this one's good for some things. Uh, the spork is, I don't even know if I have a spork with me. Dead gum it. Now, and but uh, you know, and then the spork is just fine for other things. In fact, for some things, the spork is actually better with the little micro serration on the side of the fork. Uh, I'm not going to admit that I eat a hot pocket occasionally. You know, having that cutting edge on the fork makes eating a lava filled pastry like that uh, far easier than just using a regular fork because then you don't have to go through all the so that being said uco switch i think it's a useful addition to any kit i recommend getting one not that my recommendation <laughs> means anything but you know i've used them i like them i would easily recommend these to a friend i don't think you can go wrong for five bucks uco switch Got to go out and get one. It's as good as the sport, maybe better. Take care, y'all.